2019 CFN section prelims at the Riverside course. Most of the top teams have no problems getting through on from this round. Loyola, same thing, no problem at all. Situation a little bit different with the Cubs this year. The depth isn't quite as deep. Usually their JV team is loaded. It, there's not quite as much wiggle room this year. And one of the key kids had mono in the summertime. So things are coming together a little bit slower than usual. And usually Loyola is a patient program. But now I want to get a bit of a status update. Had no problem today. First, Coach Lalo Diaz on the left, Anthony Stone, Gus Marshall, just your, your, your take on how the team's coming along at this point in time. Well, as you said, we're certainly concerned because in years past we could rely on our sixth, our seventh, our eighth, or you know, up to our top ten. And this year we, we don't enjoy that luxury. And as a result of that, we're, we're scrapping to, to, to make state. And our consideration is uh, that's what we have to do. Uh, usually we, we, we mark that day as our peaking and certainly now we've had to move it up and we have to run at our best at the CIF final. So yeah, that certainly alters our strategy with regards to when we peak. In any other division, you guys would be fine because it's a very good team you guys have this year. Division two is so loaded and so yeah. deep, it's the strongest division in the state. <laughs> Was there any point this year during the season where you were a bit more nervous than usual because of the circumstances surrounding the program? Absolutely, because um, we had our two returning seniors, our key returning seniors, certainly led by Anthony Stone and Gus Marshall, and we had the setback because he had the, the, the mono that he had to deal with, and that was after he had been dealing with his knee issues, so it was uh, the double whammy that, that we were concerned about, but he's been making great strides, we're closing that gap, and we're hoping that, that, that we can pinpoint that day, which is a week from today, and hopefully deliver at the right time. Gus, so in the past when I've seen kids in your situation, they tend to put a lot of pressure on themselves and it doesn't help the situation. It seems like in your case, you've come along nicely, gradually. You mentioned today you felt this was a nice confidence boost for you. In your own words, how have the last month, month and a half, or even further been like for you? Um, well, the last month specifically, uh, you know, Coach Diaz has always just been like, oh, these guys are right with you right now, and yeah, you're going to eventually surpass them, but right now they're great markers for you in these races and these workouts, everything like that. So. Just the, uh, yeah, I had some doubts, but the confidence that the other guys on the team and the coaching staff put in me, um, I, I really just kind of cleared my mind so I could just focus out on getting out there and running, so. Okay. You've been, you've been, your, role, you've been doing your role as a leader and also up front as a front runner in a sense. So far, from your vantage point, how have things come together this season for the program? Yeah, Anthony. I mean, <clears throat> coming into the season, definitely not, not one of the strongest teams that Loyola has had, so. Coming into the scene, we definitely had our doubts a little bit. We knew the work was going to be cut out for us, and we knew we were going to have to work extra hard this year. And I think coming today, and I mean, we had we had a great race today. I mean, a lot of the guys kind of took it easy, but I think come CIF finals, we're going to be we're going to be right there, and we'll we'll make it to the stadium. I'm very confident about that. So on paper, coming into the year, there were eight teams that looked really good in the division. Six of them have been really fortunate. Things have clicked. Two of them have had some adversity, and they're kind of getting through that. You guys being one of them. Uh, there's not much room for any of those 18, much room for error for any of those 18 teams next week. What do you think is going to be the key for you guys this year? I think the excitement of a CIF final uh, sometimes gets the best of uh, the, the younger runners. And we have uh, two sophomores, uh, three sophomores in the top seven coming to the line next week. So uh, is that anxiety that comes from youth and experience that you're concerned about, that they might go out too fast and come two mile mark and then they just run too hard? Uh, too soon within the race. So that's our concern to make sure that they run within their, their capabilities. And if they do that, then I, I think we are truly the proverbial bubble team where we are fighting for our qualifying line. I call this man the Lou Holtz of cross country because he always tends to, but in this case, yeah. in a sense, it's gonna be tight, definitely. Absolutely. But we've seen the steps being taken in recent weeks and the key teams coming around. So wish you all well. Gus Marshall, Anthony Stone, Lalo Diaz, Loyola High School. Thank you.